This is my Christmas tree notepad. It is in the shape of a rectangular prism. It's really a special kind of rectangular prism because the base is in the shape of a square. And of course, I also have a height, right? And a neat thing about this is it's made up of lots of little pieces of paper. I could fan them out like this and you could see there's a whole lot of pieces of paper right in here, right? And so what's really going on if I were to find the volume of this is that I have a whole bunch of individual pieces of paper stacked on top of each other which means I could find the area of one of them and I could multiply it by the height of the whole stack of them and that would give me the volume. Um, and Cavalieri's principle tells me that even if I were to twist and turn this into a slightly different shape, I could do that, right? I could kind of twist the shape of this so that the notepads aren't um, stacked exactly on top of each other. The volume doesn't change. Because what's still going on is I have the area of one of these squares multiplied by the height of this thing. Uh, that's why our volume formula works. So if I were to measure this, which I have just done, I would find that the height is equal to 3 and 3 eighths inches and that the square has side lengths of 3 and a half inches. Uh, that's all I need to know. 3 and a half by 3 and a half by 3 and 3 eighths. Let's type it into Desmos. So my volume is equal to the area of my base times my height, right? So in this case, the area of my base, since I have a square with side lengths of 3.5, would be 3.5 times 3.5. The height of this is going to be, let me get my fraction template. Oop, not there. There we go. 3 eighths. And in front, I want a 3 because it's 3 and 3 eighths. So now I have the volume of this prism. It is 41.34375 cubic inches. That's the volume of it. And all that's equal to the area of one of these pieces of paper multiplied by the height of the stack.